Nope. So what am I doing at almost four o'clock in the morning? I am putting buttercream icing on a banana cake. It turned out to be a quarter sheet cake. And I'm uh, being sp spied on by our photobomb cat, Luna. She is on the other side of the table. And she want, she loves butter. I caught her licking the butter dish. The butter dish? Yeah, she could smell the butter and she was licking the dish. I'll, I'll prove to you she's here. What you doing, Flea Face? What you doing? Huh? What you doing, Luna? You see yourself? Can people see you? What you doing there, girl? And that's you in there. You see yourself? She doesn't know what to do. She's just staring. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> she has some strange taste buds. I'm t doing this in front of her just to see how desperate she can be. She gets pretty desperate sometimes. She, uh, we had some pieces of, I think it was smoked ribs or something on the table in with, oh, my husband had them as little hors d'oeuvres in a little container. The toothpicks and the pieces of meat. Little Miss Luna there came by and she took her pretty little paw and went like this to grab one and we had to scold her. She likes uh, to get into trouble. I think she likes to get into trouble. She doesn't know it's trouble until she gets fussed at. But I have no idea why I'm doing a video of this because you don't have the recipe. I didn't have one either. Uh, I guessed after so many years of, you know, cooking in the kitchen and watching my mom cook and my grandmother, my great grandmother. And I never, well, my mom would take out a cookbook, but I never saw my great grandmother bring out a cookbook. She just kind of did stuff. So I thought, well, I'm going to try to do that. I know what it's supposed to taste like on the end. Getting it to that taste is the tricky part. And this stuff is messy, but oh, it's good. So even though I don't have all the ingredients out, I'm going to give you the recipe for my cream cheese buttercream icing. You take, and this is eyeball uh, measured. I didn't use a measuring cup at all. No, I did not. To cover a quarter sheet size cake, I used two sticks of butter softened and three packages, three eight ounce packages of cream cheese, also softened, room temperature in other words, and one cup of confectioner's sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a teaspoon of cream of tartar. I don't know why I used the cream of tartar, I just remember it being in a frosting recipe. So I put it in here. I think what it does is it helps the frosting to set up and to hold its shape, maybe. I don't know. I mean, that's what I was told. When I think my grandmother used to use it in soup. You know, us country people, we just, we just put it together. Just throw food together, and we said, yeah, it tastes good. <laughs> well, fortunately, there weren't many um, catastrophes in the kitchen growing up, either with my mom, my grandmother, or my great-grandmother. And this was the perfect amount, because I was wondering if I didn't have enough frosting. So I went and got the third pack of cream cheese, and it's a good thing I did. It covers this beautifully. So I'm going to give you that recipe one more time. It is one cup of confectioner sugar, two sticks of softened butter. You can use unsalted if you like. One teaspoon of vanilla one teaspoon of cream of tartar, and let's see, butter, confectioner sugar, cream of tartar, oh, the teaspoon of vanilla. I don't know if I already said that, but I'm concentrating on making sure I get all the icing on here. Now, I don't know the difference between icing and frosting. I think it means the same thing, but my, my, grand, <laughs> my grandmother used to say there's a definite difference. Mm, so good. I think the difference is probably the consistency. I think frosting is probably the thick um, version. 
because it frosts it, makes it look icy, I guess. And icing is a, is like, when you get an icing on the road, it's a light layer. So that's, that's what I'm guessing anyway. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. And the key to when you're making frosting or icing is always use, because you don't want it to get too warm, use a metal bowl. A metal bowl. Same with uh, when you make butter cookies. Because the butter has to be kept not cold, but still at a chill uh, temperature. And if you have it in a metal bowl, the metal bowl will stay cool. For some reason, a metal bowl just, it doesn't heat up unless you put something hot in it. And uh, we don't want hot, hot frosting. I mean icing. This is icing. This is not frosting because this is, this is thick. It has body. It spreads on wonderful. And the butter sets in it. And you keep it in the fridge. And I'm actually going to cut a corner off of this because I have no idea if the inside tastes as good as the outside part. Because I didn't use recipe. I made one up. Here's the banana uh, cake recipe. Six good size ripe bananas with the spots on them. You put those in a bowl. You mash them up. You can use a potato masher, fork, just something to mash them up. Three eggs. What else did I put in there? Mmm. Two cups of flour. A teaspoon of vanilla. If you don't have buttermilk or don't like buttermilk, the substitute for buttermilk is you take a tablespoon of lemon juice, you put it in your measuring cup, and you fill the milk up to one cup. So I did one and a half cups of buttermilk. Homemade buttermilk. It curdles it. It makes it taste like buttermilk. So to do the half cup, I just did a teaspoon of lemon juice and filled up the milk to a half cup. So one and a half cups of buttermilk or milk with lemon juice to equal one and a half cups. One, in, uh, one tablespoon plus a teaspoon, so basically four teaspoons. Um, two cups of flour, six good, good sized bananas. Yeah, there's no milk in there by the way, other than the buttermilk you know, the substitute. And, mmm, the two cups of flour, the bananas, the buttermilk, oh, and the three eggs. Did I say vanilla? There's a teaspoon of vanilla in there. So you have a teaspoon of vanilla in the banana cake mix and also a teaspoon in your frosting. Now, if I didn't say that for the frosting recipe, there's supposed to be a teaspoon in it too. I'm gonna cut a piece of this and see what it looks like inside. I'm holding my breath. I hope it's okay. This is the first time I've ever done a recipe with no recipe. And if it turns out, I know the frosting's good, so I, that recipe's good. And you can count on that one. It's the inside. I'm just going to cut a corner off. Take a peek at the inside. When I took it out of the oven, oh, cooking time. 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Until it's like nice and golden brown. It starts to separate from the pan. You take it out of the oven. You put it on a rack, a, a cookie cooling rack, and after it's slightly warm, then you take it out of the pan and let it finish cooling on the rack, and then you put your frosting on it. Hold your breath, guys. I am holding mine. It's going to be pretty dense because of six bananas. I do know, I know that for a fact. And I could have put nuts in it, but I didn't. I'm going to grab a plate somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'll grab a bowl. Well, yeah, I'll grab this. Well, it looks absolutely perfect inside. That's the banana cake. Um, banana bread's one thing. Cake's another story. I always put an extra banana in my banana bread or banana cake. Why? Moistness. I can't stand a dry banana cake or a dry banana bread. I'm going to try a piece. I wish you could taste it with me. I don't like being the only guinea pig. Let's see what we got here. Sir, look, it's not dry. Not at all. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I did it. I made my first banana cake. No recipe. And it is marvelous. Guys, you got to try it. I think this is the best banana cake I've ever made.
<laughs> I didn't use a real recipe. <gasps> My husband's gonna flip. He's just home from work. Mm, sorry. Count myself when something's good. And I'm gonna give him the re uh, some of this piece. I can't wait to see his reaction. So, banana cake. Easy as anything. I will put in the comments the recipe again for you guys if you wanna make it. Sorry I didn't get to show you me actually making it, but the end product is awesome. <laughs> All right, everybody. Y'all have a great day. This is cooking my country style, and have a great weekend.